I'd like to request the Honorable Minister to implement the suggestions shared within fisheries and livestock and direct sector, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Sir, thank you very much, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Sir, when we talk about the fishermen, you will feel more sympathetic to them. And we must be sympathetic also. Because of the hard work, that too, 24 into 7 type of work, risk factor involved in their work, and a seasonal kind of situation. Because of all these kind of things, they are suffering a lot. There is no more time for me. In brief, I would like to say, sir, uh, the one threat is the international maritime boundary line and its violation type of things. Everybody knows that innocent fishermen are unnecessarily brought into various difficulties in that. I hope the Honorable Minister is fully aware of all these things and uh, he will take appropriate action at the higher levels in this regard also. So there is another uh, threat now, hanging like sort of democracy. That is subsidy challenge. Sir, internationally there is a pressure on the part of WTO to reduce or eliminate subsidies provided to Indian fishermen. So we can very well imagine if subsidy also is reduced or eradicated, how will be their situation, sir? So I humbly request the government not to yield for that kind of pressure. Whatever may be the pressure, we have to be sympathetic to uh, fishermen and don't agree for this kind of things. Then, sir, I would like to say about the economic empowerment of these uh, fishermen. There are different uh, kind of uh, projects but the implementation side, sir, it is very poor. With regard to Sagar Parikrama, that scheme, in a prima facie, we look that as a very good program. But as far as the implementation of the program is concerned, it is very poor. I humbly request the Honorable Minister to examine that and uh, revive the scheme, or whatever may be the handicap of that scheme, Kindly give special attention to solve that also, sir. So there is a, another threat. What is that? Shrimp export. We were in the front side of it, forefront of it. We import, we export to America. America, sir, since the last five years, they have made a ban to receive or the this thing. The reason they are saying is. This totals, you know, that uh, they are not uh, given proper consideration by the government. So I'm not against in making any law against that. But there is no any reasonable thing, argument from the side of U.S. in banning this export. I humbly request the Honorable Minister to intervene in it. Because, sir, we all know that import to America was a very good thing for us, our fishermen. Our shrimp export in 2019 was banned by them. Now it is five years over, sir. 23, 24, 60 percent, 52 crore rupees worth of marine products was exported in which 60 percent was shrimp. That was a very good thing for us, sir. So whatever may be the hardness, we are having very good diplomatic relation with everybody with America also. So kindly examine where lies the hard deal. Here also, sir, I would like to say that we must take a firm stand with America and convince them the fact that we are not disturbing this kind of city. Then, sir, I would like to say that education empowerment of the fishermen, that is very poor, sir. In the coastal area, I urge upon the government, or I humbly request the government, to start more education institution and arrange some second kind of special uh, kind of uh, concession for the concern of the backwardness of the future business. Sir, towards the end, I would like to say one more thing. Infrastructure development exclusively for uh, coastal areas, small road connecting with the fisherman port and things like that. Similarly, sir, sea erosion. 
CRO solution was under the control of the uh, uh, India government. Now you have transferred it to state government. Unfortunately, what has happened, sir? In my constituency, CRO should take place in a big way. So what I'm suggesting is you must discuss with the state government and ensure that the fund is utilized properly in that way also, sir. Now, sir, I don't want to take much of the time. Uh, appropriate action should be taken to use financial support. You don't say budget allocation. You are giving budget allocation. But, uh, sir, I would like to say to make threadbare analysis on the spending of the expenditure as given by the uh, budget. These are all certain things, cold, cold chain storage kind of things. Thank you. These are all Thank many you, other Mr. things. Thank you. Anyhow, I hope that Honorable Minister and this government will be sympathetic to this neglected section of the society. With this few words, sir, I can go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Adarane Sadasya Ji, Mites Patel Ji.